bottom to volume of pyramids. Okay, just like when we did volume of prisms, it is going to be in cubic units because volume always rules B. Because it's going to have length and width and height. And just like when we did our prisms, big, the big B, the capital B, is going to equal the area of the base. On your homework, they are all going to be rectangular prisms, so that's all we need to worry about. So in this case, our big B is going to equal the length times the width of just the base of the pyramid. So in this case, my length and width of the pyramid is going to be 4 times 3. So my base is going to equal 12. So now that I have that, I can plug it back into my volume formula. So volume is going to equal 1 third of the base times the height. So let's plug in what we know. In this case, base was 12 times 12, and then I have the height of the entire pyramid. Remember, if this happens to have one labeled right here, that's the slant height that we never, ever, 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 ever use slant height for a height. So we're not going to use that one. Make sure it's that right angle from the base to the point that we use for height. So in this case, we're going to say times six for the height of the entire pyramid. When you're going through this, you can work left to right because it's all multiplication. Sometimes one of these numbers might be easier than another to divide by three. If that's the case, just divide by three first, whichever is easiest. I can do one third of 12. I'm just taking that divided by three and saying four. So when we say one third of something, I can divide by three and it means the same. So we're gonna, then we're gonna say times six. So that volume of this one would be 24 centimeters cubed. I'm gonna just do this problem one more time, showing that taking one third of either number would work. Because in this case, I could also easily have taken one third of the six. If I had done that, then I could have said volume is one third of six. Six divided by three would have been two times this 12, and I still would have had the volume of 24 cubic centimeters. So if you have a problem where the height is easier to divide by three, or maybe the base is easier to divide by three, go ahead and do that first. It shouldn't matter which one it is. Just make sure when we're looking at the base that we're only looking at this rectangle on the bottom. And then that's all you'll need to do. And make sure that when you're plugging in over here for your height, that you're using the height all the way top to bottom and never, ever, ever your slant height. Hopefully this helps and we will see you next time.